This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is part two of Getting Started with Gumbo Flex 4. In this part, we're going to extend Peter DeHan's program and build a rotating video. Now, what I want to do is show you one more thing, very important. When you're clicking on something and you want to change the SDK, say you want to run a Flex 4 Gumbo application, you go to, once again, you go to Project, you click on Properties, and what you've got to make sure, guys, is not just selecting the SDK here, the one you want to use, but also make sure that this uh, required Flash Player version is set to 10. Sometimes it doesn't pick this up and it's set to 9 and your program won't run. Make sure that's on 10. And if it is, you should indeed have no problems. So that's how easy it is to run <laughs> Gumbo. Uh, this is fantastic. And now we're going to show you how to modify this program to bring in other components into 3D. Now Peter actually gives the program in two versions. He gives a what's called an FX rotation version and he actually does the action script version. We're going to concentrate on the action script version. So that actually is the main 2 underscore 4. So right click and uh, just set the default application as that one. And when we double click on that and bring up the code, you can see now everything's in terms of the script uh, scripting uh, a tag and, and that's actually what we want. We want to work with the script tag. And this is all the uh, code you actually need it to um, do 3D rotation in uh, Gumbo. No uh, uh, incredible imports like you do in Paper Vision. Just very simple. It runs natively. <laughs> I'm always trying to import something, uh, a package, so I can run Gumbo, but actually it's all native to the Flash Player, so that actually makes it easy. Now, what we'll do in the future is we'll start incorporating Paper Vision, so we will be incorporating a number of packages, but I just want to show you Gumbo just to get you started. So what I want to show you here is uh, one of the things that he does, he imports from the controls package an image component. And so my first question is, well, how do I know what components that will rotate in 3D, that will work in 3D? And the way I, one easy way to do it is to go to the uh, controls uh, package, controls folder, and see what's available for you to do. And we actually did that earlier, but we'll do that again just, just for completeness. And so I have my nightly build open, and I showed you earlier, just go to Frameworks, just go to Projects, go to Framework, go to uh, SRC, go to MX, and go to Controls. And there's all those beautiful containers, and I notice at the bottom here is the video display. Hey, can I put a video display in there and rotate it 3D? Let's try, see what happens. So all I really need to do is now come along here and modify Peter's program to actually handle video and rotate it in 3D. Let's do that right now. And I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So we're going to modify Peter's program to get video running in it. So first of all, you want to import the MX Controls video display component that we saw earlier. You want to declare a private variable. We'll call it video1 video display. You want to add the play, stop, and pause buttons right here to the initiation function. You want to then add those buttons to the V group. That's the button that you see on the left-hand side. Then you want to instantiate the video display as video 1. You assign its source, just like you would in regular flex. Then you do a width, a height, and we're going to set autoplay to true. And we went ahead and stayed with Peter's st set style, so we set it to the center of the stage. And then we added that item, video 1. And from that point, you just need to create the listener functions. Just whenever you press the play pause or stop button, you actually get a video play, video pause, and video stop. And that's all there is to it. Let's run the program. So in my blog, I actually provide the address for the source file I just showed you how to create. It's flex3cookbook2, googlecode.com, forward slash files, forward slash rotating gumbo video. Go ahead and download that if you want to and see the changes, or you can actually navigate to the very bottom of my blog and click the more button, and I show you all the code there as well. You can just copy and paste it into your flex application. So let's go ahead and run this and see how well it works. So I'm now in Flex, and I'm in my rotating video example, and I'm just going to click on that and hit the Run button. And when I do, everything that I said happens, happens. We added our video buttons. We've got our video playing. We rotate around the Y, the Z, or the X axis, and we can start it or pause it, whatever we want to do. And it will play as you rotate, and that's just pretty <laughs> incredible. And so now we have native uh, components and native video, and boy, is that going to make a difference when it comes to building that 3D learning management system. Well, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University. Uh, good luck with Gumpo. We'll be putting out a lot of examples on it, and we'll be showing you how to integrate it with Paper Vision.